Hi guys, Kat here with After 40 Yard, and today we're going to swatch out the Ganzai Tambi 48 set. I know I'm really late on this trend, but it's not really a trend, but I'm really late on this supply. Um, they're really hard to find here. Okay, so I have taken the plastic off, um, and I have not touched them with water yet. They have not been painted with. So... I took the plastic off because I wanted to make sure that they weren't damaged. Amazon in there. Let's stick everything that's heavy in an envelope thing. Um, and I have the, the little swatch chart thingies that they send with. So there's like one in the box top here. And then there's this one. And I think these are made on the same paper. So I am not going to paint on this one. I am, however, going to mark this one. Now I'm going to take this off. And there's some little, like, chipped pieces. Okay, so that's some kind of green over here. I'm going to have to try to get that out of there. Okay. Well, there are some. They're nicely filled. This looks like it's a little bit cracked, which doesn't make any sense. Anyway, they could crack when they're drying out, whatever. Yeah, that's a crack. Um, they are block. They are really small. Um, well, they're thin. They're very thin, I should say. Not really small, but thin. I always have to take out one of these half pans. This is a half pan, and that's this on a half pan. It's not too bad. If I look at it against the full pan, probably should have had these out already to start with, but I didn't think about it until just now. I was kind of curious though to see how they match up with each other. Can I have one of you? Yes, I can. Okay. So they're about the same this way as a half pan. And hilariously enough, they are the same height. Like, look at that. They are the same height. So unless they're, like, really thick on the bottom, this is, like, three or two and a half of these pans. Okay, that's interesting. Everybody says, oh, they're so, they're, they're, they're so, um, shallow, but I would say that they're filled like two thirds of the way, unless they've like changed something in the way that they fill them. Like this one's a little less than some of them, but like, they feel like they're pretty much for the most part about two thirds of the way filled. It's not too bad. Anyway, I like them. These are really pretty. I can't wait to see what those look like. Um, also, what the hell? Also, I like this green. I like these three colors here, just as they are right now. And I like these three colors. These ones I'm not sure, but this, like some of them have texture, like this is textured and this is textured. This one also has a texture. Some, like, these have some texture, but not as much, and most of them are pretty smooth, though. So there's a... that's pretty interesting. I'm gonna see what they look like when they get wet, though. I am not going to pre-wet them. I'm just gonna move that plastic thing out of my way. Um, I don't... I don't do that when I swatch my colors, because... Uh, I don't know how they'll react with water sitting on them, and I don't really want to waste the paint. And for the most part, most watercolor that I have come in contact with does not need to be pre-wet. Um, I have a couple of colors from Van Gogh that need to be pre-wet, otherwise you can't get any pigment. Um, one or two colors from White Nights that does the same thing. Um, but for the most part, I haven't really had any major issues with needing colors to be like pre-wet. Like, pre it just doesn't, uh, it's not 
part of what's ne necessary to use them. So I have the two brushes. I also have some rice paper because I kind of wanted to try it and see. Um, I have not been able to figure out which side is the top. Like which side, one side is like textured and the other side is smooth. So I'm not sure which side is supposed to be. So we're gonna do some little experiment. But first we're gonna swatch these out. Gonna cut all that out. Um, I'm reaching. Cut that out too. Water open. Yes. Don't need that one, I don't think. Alright. I think you guys can see the whole swatch chart. I'm going to pop this up here. I'm not going to use this right now. I'm pretty sure that's the same paper as what's in the box. Wait, oh. My chair doesn't want to come under the table. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way and this out of the way. And this out of the way. And Okay, so now we're on, on the camera. I have the box here next to me. All right, so I'm just gonna get some water on my brush. Make sure there's no color in my brush. And I'm gonna wet the paper, like I always do. I'm hoping that that um, Posca will not bleed. <laughs> I don't know if Posca re-wets. It looks like it kind of might have, but... So, ooh, wow, okay. Look at that. All right. That is pretty. That is a nice color. I would be using these as watercolors, not as gouache. Um, I can't see the point in using them as gouache if I already have gouache. So... Okay. Carmine. Oh, I like how that does that. It's just like... Whoosh. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I could watch paint do that all day. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's very pretty. Take that thing a little bit off. Making it a little thinner here. I'm trying to. Also trying to make it even thinner there. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Damn it. Alright, just gonna take a little bit of this to put it in the box. On the not watercolor paper.
I will have to learn how to use these better um, to stop this from happening. Although it is a really pretty effect on some of them. And every color doesn't do it. That's the weird thing. Like it didn't happen on the indigo or the natural beige. It's not too, it didn't happen on the hooker's green. It's not too bad here. It didn't happen on the sap green or the olive green. It could just be user error as well. I mean, I am still not that great with water control. We know this, but I mean, yeah, I like them. They're really pretty colors. Um, but yeah, I got them. I got this used for like coloring books or for like smaller projects and stuff. Also, um, because I have uh, a teenager who's also probably going to be going to art school soon, and she's also going to be stealing some of my supplies. So it's it's not like they will not get used. They will definitely get used. Um, since I'm not going to use this this particular swatch chart that came with it, I'm thinking that maybe. I'm just going to move my... Okay, I just tossed it onto the, the, the thing over there next to me. Um, so this is the rice paper that I bought in X-U-A-N. So swan paper? It says that it's handmade. It came in like an envelope with like I think a hundred sheets. And uh... I'm not so sure if I believe the handmade thing since there's like perfection, like lines that are like completely perfect. But I don't know, it definitely feels unlike any paper I've ever had before. One side is completely smooth, the other side is a tiny bit fuzzy. So we're gonna try an experiment on. I'll try the smooth side first. So I'm just gonna put this over the top of this one and then try and see. If I just want to see what happens if I put color on there. So let's try this green since there's some paint right there. So we have that's the sap green. Okay then. Interesting. What in the world? So it's definitely one of those things where it's gonna like bleed out and through, also through. So let's try, I'm trying to get the things that already have some paint in them. We're just gonna go with a dot in the middle and see what happens. Like, where they're still wet. Oh. Okay. Like, that is interesting. Okay. I wonder how you would do this to make sure you don't get too much water on your brush and totally ruin everything. Or is this like, maybe it's supposed to spread out like that so that it like softens the edges automatically? I like that. That is so fun. That was the third color. There's gray dot here. So we'll just do that. Do, 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 do. It does bleed through though, and I'm not, um, I'll have to find something to paint on top of if I'm going to use this. Let's see what happens with the, uh, hmm. These are really fun. Okay, so let's try this purple. Like the more water you add, the bigger the circle gets. Okay, that's pretty fun. Okay. And it does bleed through 
pretty intensely. Um, that's interesting that it does that on the smooth side. Does it do the same thing on the other side? We will find out now. Just gonna take those clean sheets off. No point in wasting paper. I just dropped it in the stuff. So I'm flipping it over onto the, so this is now the textured side. Okay, we have a drop of this one here. And that should be like the third row. Interesting. Okay. Does it spread all the way? Like, can I make it? It seems to spread more on the smooth side than on the sh on the shiny side. Let's just grab some more of that purple for. I love that. That is so cool looking. It just is. Let's see if it does that with. Some of the other colors, if I just go straight. That's also pretty cool, though. I also think it's funny that the more you touch it, the more... So this is probably one of those things where once you put down the mark, you stop. You don't do anything else, because it will just keep spreading. Okay, well, that's pretty nifty. And, yeah, I know, but... It's, it is the right colors, they're just not there, and I'm pretty sure this is going to stain my table. So I'm just going to move it on the floor where it is safe to dry. That's interesting on that paper though. I'm wondering if I bought the right kind of paper. Um, they said it was for like... I don't know, they said it looked like the right paper. It did look like the right paper, but we don't know. Anyway. Anyway, now I want to try and paint this mushroom that I drew. Just need some smaller paintbrushes because I think it's a little bit too big for that. And I will, if I need to mix anything, I'm going to use this to mix in because it just seems logical. So I have this cute little mushroom house.
All right, guys. I'm pretty okay with this. They're kind of fun to use. Um, this is just the most skin sketch book, just a mushroom. But this was pretty fun. I I like these. I'm gonna see what else I can come. I'm gonna see what else I can come up with to do with these um, coloring books or whatever. And uh, maybe we'll try it uh, one of these times here very soon. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this and I will catch you guys in the next video.